welcome. I'm Holly Nichols. And I'm Paris Sufatemi. And we're the producers of this year's student faculty show, Star Wars. <laughs> We'd like to welcome all our friends, family, and faculty members, and thank you for joining us tonight. This has really been a labor of love for many students, our directors, our actors, our singers, our dancers, writers, crew, fundraisers, all of whom have put a great deal of effort into making tonight's show possible. And while we hope you enjoyed tonight's show, we would also like to remind you that we have loftier ambitions. All proceeds from tonight's show, as well as the accompanying silent auction, go to Durham Rescue Mission, which is the local charity organization that was chosen by the student body. We'd also like to give a special shout out to our representatives from Durham Rescue Mission who are here tonight, Christy and John Zimmerman. We'd like to take this opportunity to tell you a few things about Durham Rescue Mission. Durham Rescue Mission is North Carolina's oldest and largest homeless shelter. And through their efforts, they serve about 400 men, women, and children daily. Uh, you can find out more about Durham Rescue Mission by visiting their website at durhamrescuemission.org. We would be remiss if we didn't mention the tremendous amount of support that we've received from both the, Dur the Duke and Durham communities. We'd especially like to mention our silver sponsor, the Chancellor for Health Affairs, Dr. Zhao. And more generally, we'd like to thank all of you for being here. A couple of reminders for tonight. The silent auction continues up until the end of intermission, and those of you who win items in the auction can pick these up on the way out after the end of Act Two. And DVDs of the show can be ordered after the uh, show ends by the silent auction tables. Also, this show is being recorded tonight, so please no flash photography. And again, thank you for coming. With that said, let's begin the show. shiny classroom, microphones, carpets on the floor, learning hall, home to first year students struggling in to say. What's up? Hey friend. Morning. Hey. High five. There go the gunners with their books like always, or doing Anki on their cell. Every morning just the same since the first day when we came to this fancy learning hall. Good morning, Luke. Good morning, Dr. Rowan. How are you liking normal body? It's fine. I just can't wait to get to the wards, to real patients. That's real nice. Problems. Hey, Rick, I need a new pointer. So what you're saying is the kidneys filter, then reabsorb the stuff as well. We're 
that goes out and goes in Is making my head spin No denying physiology is hell What's up? <clears throat> hey friend! So how is Shooters? What's up? Hey friend! So how's your life? Why is this so early? I just need more than lecture in my life Got that book you asked for. Wow, Bates Guide to Physical Examination and History Taking? Thanks. I thought you'd already read it. No, that was the pocket version. I want to read the real thing. <laughs> That's great, Luke. Glad to see you taking an interest in the real practice of medicine. Oh yeah, I can't wait to examine real patients. I wanted to go to Toshi this weekend to help out with the free clinic, but I have to study. Brachial plexus thing is so confusing. Roots, trunks, divisions, cords as well. Crossing up and down and back. Always oh, makes me want to yak. No denying gross anatomy is hell. Oh, isn't this amazing? It's my favorite part because let's see. your arm in, but you mustn't twist it so it says on 903. Okay, I'm pretty sure this one's the prostate, then again I can never tell. It just sway those lines and dots, and my eyes get crossed a lot, no denying that histology is hell. Um, that's a breast. Wow, you don't miss a slide, see? You're spot on when it comes to histology. I know. I wish I found all these slides as interesting as you do. It's true. Pathology is my calling. Pathology? It's the one. The lucky specialty I'm going to match into. But it's only... First, sure, I know. But you have to plan ahead for these things. Especially if you want the best quality of life. And don't I deserve the best? Right from the moment when I saw my first slide Way back in molecules and cells No more living patients for me Just tissue samples to see So I'm making plans to match and path as well Look there, he is, what will he ask us? I'm just so stressed, I got to pass I can't freak out, I'm hardly breathing Normal body is going to kick my Got grays? Not yet. This one's the best. I've got your cast. I've got my head. No more bull riding. I just need more than lecture in my life. Just watch, I'm going to make path my life. Sometimes I can't believe we're all in med school. No normal body ever end. It's a pity and a sin that it doesn't all sink in. Cause I really want to learn this stuff I really have to learn this stuff I really hope I get this stuff Oh well, what's up? Hey friend! Hello, hello! To the lab for culture. Delirium and Guillain Barre, both in the same room at the VA. 
We'll be done with rounding by 11 today. So how I love Jim and at the VA. Today was awesome. I got to take four different blood cultures from four patients, all with collapsed veins. I got to intubate someone. Okay, I got to do a paracentesis. What? Katie, you're not on medicine. Aren't you on psych? Yeah, but I was going to Starbucks to get coffee for my entire team when some resident yelled, hey med student, want to do a paracentesis? Um, yeah. Awesome. awesome. <laughs> well, I've got to get these blood cultures back to the lab. Oh, and my urine. Ew. And I have to go back to seeing how my patient feels. And I have this awesome H and P to write. See you guys later. See you later, Leia. Bye, Leia. Wait, there's someone still logged in. D Vader. Well, Dr. Vader, I will just log you out so that I can write my brilliant note. Do I want to make changes to Death Star? What the heck is Death Star? Deactivating epic and time-consuming histories, surgery trumps all remedies. Death Star. Well, that's a clumsy acronym, but I guess it does spell Death Star. What the heck is this? Oh my god, the surgeons are trying to destroy epic? No, all those beautiful histories. I have to warn the others. I'll just download your little manifesto and we'll see who destroys what. Crap, I forgot you can't put a USB drive into a VA computer. I have to find help. Please move. Please move. Bum 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 ba dum bum ba dum bum 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 ba dum bum ba dum bum 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 ba 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 bum 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 ba 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 bum ba 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 You medical student, what are you doing? Me? Nothing. I was doing absolutely nothing. Well, come along then. We're late. I can feel there's a femur on the seventh floor that needs me. But I'm not on your service. I'm not even on surgery. Nonsense. You are a medical student and you will come retract from me. The primitive streak is formed at the beginning of gastrulation and is formed at the junction between the extraembryonic tissue and the epiblast on the posterior side of the embryo at the site of ingression. Formation of the primitive streak is relying upon nodal signaling within the cells of the extraembryonic tissue and BMP4 signaling within Please the move. cells as well. What's going on here? Please move. Is that your droid? What? Me? No, I've never seen this droid in my life. Wow, I'm really disappointed in you. Here, all your fellow students are trying to learn, and you're messing around with droids? It's not mine. Please move. That's it. You're out of here. If you can't conduct yourself in a professional manner, the least you can do is allow your fellow students to learn. Now, where was I? Ah, oh, yes, the primitive streak. Go away. Please stop following me. Please choose a floor button. Stop following me. Your delivery has arrived. Please remove your items. What just happened? Help me, Obi-Gun Kenobi, you're my only hope. <laughs> An emos with high and a ho dog has PTDE? 
and RPLC, NCS with class, DND and SC. What on earth does that mean? Dr. Obi-Gan Kenobi? Isn't that the old guy that runs practice course? Well, I guess I should give this to him. Maybe he'll know what to make of it. So, I was elbow deep in my patient, and that's when I remember Hi. maintaining. Sorry to barge in. Um, Obi Gan Kenobi. Hi, I'm Luke. I'm a first year. Uh, I think this robot belongs to you or has a message for you or something. Luke, welcome to our practice course. I sense you are frustrated with your situation. I know this because I am in touch with the force of empathy, and your energy field could use some empathy. Why don't you join us for check in? Uh, but this isn't even my practice course. Luke, we follow specific procedures here at practice course. First, we check in. Angela, will you please share with the class a good part and bad part from your life this past week and how they made you feel? I can't well, believe this. <laughs> well, a good part my, about my week is that I just switched from inpatient pediatrics to outpatient, which means I get to sleep for more than two nights a week. Very interesting point, Angela. Sleep helps us connect with the empathetic force. When we have empathy, we can accept others without judgment. We understand the nuances of life. Remember, only a surgeon deals in absolutes. I'm absolutely sure that the kid in pediatrics today sneezed on me and gave me a cold. I'd like to go next. Oh, wait, I was next. Be patient, Luke. Mark, please continue. <sighs> well, anyway, my great thing that happened to me this week is that my resident actually smiled at me during my presentation this morning. I could just tell she appreciated my hard work and it was invigorating. And what was the bad part of your day? Okay, this is getting ridiculous. This stupid robot got me kicked out of class today and I can't afford to miss anymore. How else am I going to learn all the things I need to know to be a great doctor? Anyway, <laughs> here's this weird encrypted message for you, Dr. Kenobi. I'm going back to class. No, please, everyone, class is dismissed for today. Luke, I, I need to speak with you. But we haven't gotten to check in yet, or even talk about bias in medicine and how it affects our patients. <laughs> oh, who am I kidding? Free afternoon. Did you need something from me? What does this even have to do with practice course? Luke, do you know what this note means? Here, pull up a chair. This is a really good teaching moment. This note is written in medical shorthand. It translates to this. An egomaniacal orthopedic surgeon with homicidal ideation and a history of delusions of grandeur has plans to destroy Epic and replace notes with classifications of dead slash not dead and surgical candidate. Whoa. How did you know that? Did they teach you that in practice course? No, Luke. I was... Once a practicing clinician, I went to med school with your great, great, great big sib. No way. You saw patients? Yes, Luke, of course I did. We both did. He was a great physician and healer and a good friend. Alas, he was lost to the dark side and went into surge, I mean hospital administration, and he had to give up his stethoscope for good. But back then, we both used the force of medical knowledge to heal our patients. The force of what? Empathy. The force of empathy is what gives a doctor his power. It allows us to figure out things that a surgeon has to cut into someone to know. It surrounds us and penetrates us. It binds our patience to us. Whoa, they never taught us that in molecules and cells. When am I gonna find the time I need to learn everything I need to know to be a great doctor? of a long white coat. All my patients smile, are on time just for me. Where I cure disease, yes, make people well. All my patients say, Dr. Luke, you have healed me. I will find my way. 
I can be a doctor. I'll be there someday. If I can stay strong, I'll stay up all night just to do what's right. I would do most anything to match where I belong. Luke, I have something here for you. Your great, great, great grandson would have wanted you to have this when you were in MS1. What is it? His stethoscope. This is the tool of a clinician, not as clumsy or as random as a retractor or a bovie. An elegant tool for a more civilized doctor. The force of empathy is strong with you, Luke. You must come with me if we are to stop this plan, which I suspect was set by Dr. Bader. Oh, I'm not going. I haven't even spent any time in the library yet today studying streaming lectures. And it takes me so long to learn this way, I'm never going to finish. I need your help, Luke. All of those clinical notes need your help. I'm getting too old for this stuff, and I cannot save Epic all by myself. But I, even, I haven't even learned how to write a soap note yet. How can I save all the notes? Luke, this quest will make you the great doctor you long to be. This does feel so right, though. I am on my way. I'll go with Kenobi. I can save the notes, tedious and long. Every patient's file will be worth my while. And I'll find my mentor waiting right where I belong. Dr. Kenobi, wait. He missed that. I really think I should be wearing, like, a gown or something. Eleven blade. Or gloves? A cap, maybe. Dr. Vader. Shouldn't you be using a Kelly clamp on that? Really? What makes you say that? It's a trap! <laughs> well, you see, I was reading this very interesting article in Gemma about it. <laughs> and what do you think would happen if the Kelly crushed the popliteal? <laughs> How would you obtain hemostasis with heavy blood in the field? What would the collateral blood supply to the leg be following ligation of the popliteal? <laughs> you won't be needing that anymore. I can't take this anymore. This is torture. Silence, medical student. Who's up next? Well, sir, we have the total hip followed by the knee Please ankle. Please stop, Dr. Vader. We've been in the OR for days. You've pimped three interns unconscious already. Medical student, to cut is to cure. You must build up the knowledge and the stamina to do what needs to be done. Only then can you be a surgeon. Only then can you fix what needs to be fixed. But I don't want to be a surgeon. I admit that in the past I was a softy. They weren't kidding when they called me, well, a snitch. But the past is in the past, and no, you may not ask. So I changed my whole direction, made a switch to this. And well, luckily, my fingers, they are magic. It's a skill and talent very few possess But I try not to abuse I put them to good use On the broken, the misshapen, and compressed 
Poor unfortunate bones In pain, in need This one longing to be taller This one dying to be straight And do I fix them? Yes indeed Those poor unfortunate bones So frail, so true They cry out to me in pain Pleading help me Vader please And I fix them? Yes I do I admit that now and then Patients fail to sign consent for me to also fix their gall or kidney stones. But they rarely do protest, for I've made them be their best. All those poor unfortunate boys. Dr. Vader, you are delusional. You won't get away with any of this. Get away with what? Nothing! What do you know, medical student? Oh, you know, us second year med students, we hardly know anything about what's going on. We hardly know any medicine or how a hospital works or the SERS criteria. We certainly don't know anything about anatomy or why you would want to destroy Epic. Oh, crap. How do you know about that? <clears throat> tell me everything at once. No, I won't tell you anything. Oh, but you will, or I will destroy this beloved VA hospital and its antiquated CPRS medical record system with my Death Star as a small show of what it can do. No, please, not the VA. Y you can't hurt this place. I won't let you. Tell me what you know and who you've told. Tell me, or I will end the VA as you know it. Intern, upload Death Star to CPRS. Yes, sir. Okay, okay, I'll tell you. Just don't hurt the VA. Deal? Fine. Tell me what I want to know. I found your plan on my computer, and I said it to my practice course leader, Dr. Kenobi. You won't get away with this. He's going to stop you. That's cute, medical student. Your faith in medicine, your faith in your preceptor is... Disturbing. Intern, commence upload at once. What? We had a deal. Upload has initiated and will be complete within a matter of minutes, sir. You're far too trusting, medical student. In minutes, the VA will be in shambles. Actually, I wonder how much of a difference that'll make. <laughs> no matter. And soon, all of Epic will feel the force of Death Star. Interns, set a course for the Duke North asteroid belt. Wow, wasn't anatomy lab today invigorating? If by invigorating you mean a painful, soul-sucking experience, then yes, it was quite invigorating. What? You're just saying that because you're, like, not studying enough. When you know the material, like me, you kind of just get caught in the moment. Spoken like a grade A gunner. Yeah, and I do too study enough. Enough to get that P. Yeah, P equals MD. We're all getting the same degree anyway. While you're here killing yourself, we're out having fun. I resent that comment. I resent this whole conversation. And this year, I feel like I'm just counting down the seconds until we finish. I mean, look at those guys. I see them here every day, for hours at a time. They look so relaxed. Um, they're MSTPs. And yeah, <laughs> they look relaxed because they don't do anything. I mean, honestly, they probably can't remember simple important facts like how the vermiform appendix is simply a vestige of the cecum. That's right. One point for this guy for awesome anatomy factoid. Yeah, oh, minus yeah. a point for being a dork. I mean, if you spent half as much time having a good time as you do studying, you'd be a much happier person. Trust me. Whatever. Oh, wait. I totally forgot. I brought my HDMI cable today. And you guys know what that means. We can totally watch Ackland anatomy videos in the student lounge on the big screen. Come on, guys, let's go. Oh, yeah. Kill me now. Yes. I wish I were the patient in those anatomy videos. <laughs> Am 
my God, do you remember those days? You mean having to interact with non-PhD students in a social setting outside of research? Ooh, what? That's pretty rough. No, I mean first year, fresh into the world of streaming lectures at 5X, staying up all night to memorize Robin's questions, and those random, awkward patient interviews. <laughs> oh, man. Or how about when you get to second year, when you just start randomly muddling around the wards, hoping that your resident or attending acknowledge your existence? <laughs> God, that was horrible. The worst. But look at us now, Chewy. <clears throat> Living the life of kings. You know, I have hope my next batch of experiments totally fails. Because then I can just extend my stint in paradise. <laughs> yeah, I mean, these kids don't even know what they're missing. They're stuck endlessly studying, constantly referencing up to date. Trying to get that cute intern to notice them. What? Yeah, or, you know, something medical. <laughs> Where are we, Chewy? Single? Well, yeah. No. Naj! No, we're ruling the lab. I'm getting me a PhD with perks beyond compare. No rounds to do, no ties to wear, no histories to prepare. Just finished a new grant request. Now I've got time to kill. My PI thinks I'm working hard. I'm really sitting still. These experiments move quite slow, you see. Bet you can't wait to be an MS3. No more streaming lectures. No more gross anatomy. No intro to prevention. Check-in. But I like practice course. Free to sit at Nosh all day. Free to take a long day. I think it's time that you and I arranged a heart to heart. Well, that's great. I need your help to find a mentor for a start. It all depends on how much work you really want to do. Basic science? Something clinical? Or get a JD? Ew. There's no point getting an extra degree. PhD. Bet you can't, can't wait to be an MS3. No more wearing white coats. No more taking histories. No more noon conferences. No more needing coffee. But I like coffee. Let every student sleep till eight or nine. You're gonna have way too much free time. We should start a club for tasting wine. Bet you can't wait to be an MS3. Bet you can't wait to be an MS3. Gentlemen, did I overhear you two are MSTP students? That sounds like an attending. <laughs> an attending. Other than my PI is talking to us. <laughs> what do we do? I don't know. It's been so long since I've interacted with an attending. What do you think he wants? All right, we'll be up front with you guys. That's Dr. Kenobi, and I'm Luke. We need seasoned vets like you and your pal here to help us navigate the VA system. You see, we need to rescue one of our fellow classmates, Leia, who's been kidnapped by the evil, evil Dr. Vader. Oh my god. It's finally happening. We're getting dragged out of our comfortable lives in the lab and thrown out to the cruel, cruel world of clinical medicine. You guys have been here a long time and are our best shot at getting there successfully and returning things to the way they were. Restoring order to Demos, 
to all of medicine the way you two remember it long, long ago. <laughs> Hold on. Well, my experiments still need to soak for another 32 hours before they're even ready for pre-pre-implantation phase. So I've got time. <laughs> well, that's good for you, but specific aim 17A of my experiment isn't going exactly like I planned. No? I've got this treatment group of mice that just keep dying for <laughs> unknown reasons. I need to figure out why before all my grant money dries up. Yeah, but isn't Leia that hot girl you've been trying to talk to since last year? And failed. This could be your second chance. <clears throat> so what's in it for us? Well, I can get you free food at the cantina for the rest Deal. of the Deal! <laughs> <laughs> Joke's on them. I would have done for half a free cookie. Well, lead the way then, gentlemen. Not so fast, Han Solo. Bubba Fett? Where are your project results? I've been waiting months for you to fabricate the evidence that finally proves that my flawless surgical technique is far superior to what everyone else is doing. You better stop stuffing your face at this cantina before I stop stuffing your pockets with my grant money. Now listen, Dr. Jabba, about that. What? I... Aren't the mice doing well? Um, we may have hit a little snag. A um... snag? It's not a big deal at all, just a few dead mice. I don't yeah. give a flying asteroid what's going on. Just as long as I have the proof that I need. All right, Han. You're lucky that I closed in record time today. And I'm in a particularly good mood because of it. You better give me some data soon or else you'll be scrubbing lab benches for the rest of your research years. Bubba Foot? Yes, sir. Did you guys... <clears throat> Did you guys see that? Totally handled that one. <laughs> sure you did, buddy. What? I, I totally did. Don't we have like a mission to get to or something? Come on. But what about Dr. Java and his mice? Yeah, about that. Um, kid, they'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Sure, it'll be cool. Let's go. Wait, I'll catch up. I got myself thinking about a cookie and I figure I'll grab one for the road. Anyone want anything? No? Oh. What is this piece of junk? <clears throat> it's the uh, Century Falcon, babyface. I thought you said it was the Millennium Falcon. Listen, kid, on an MSTP stipend, my options were a little limited. <laughs> Listen, the only thing that's different between the Millennium Falcon and this is, you know, like the heated seats and the leather interior and the sexy autopilot robot voice. Not to mention the extra shielding, the emergency life support. Oh, and I, what about Gehurig? I can't even make coffee in this thing. Shut up, you big food processor. How many times do I have to tell you? With me as the pilot, we don't need the extra shields. And we've yet to need the emergency life support. And you bought a coffee with your cookie. OK, guys. Boys, settle what? down. Han, when will we reach the VA system? Should be about 12 parsecs. <clears throat> Isn't that a unit of distance? Hold on. I need clarity. I sense a great disturbance in the force. There's a woman in labor who needs our help. Han, divert our course immediately to the Duke North asteroid belt. But what about Leia and Dr. Vader's Death Star? Yeah, and that too. I gotta say, I'm with the kid on this one. I don't deal with pregnant ladies. Han, don't be selfish. You know you can't leave a laboring woman all the way out in the asteroid belt. Oh, you know it all, don't you now? Fine, the cookie monster wants to do it his way. Let's turn it around. Ah! Ah! They're 
she is. Ah. I sense the fetus is starting its descent. Ah. The heart tones are distant, though. I must act quickly. Luke, make sure you're watching this. Yes, sir. I think I'm going to be sick. Who are you? Ma'am, have no fear. Help has arrived. I'm Obi-Gan Kenobi. Ah, OK. <clears throat> Push with me! Shh! I can't! It's stuck! This is ah! strange. Something's amiss, but I'm not quite sure what it is. I've never experienced a delivery quite like this one before. Ah! That is because it should have been a C-section. It's a trap! Leia? Dr. Vader, what are you doing here? <laughs> I knew you couldn't resist giving a natural birth. <gasps> Have it your way, Vader. I need clarity. Today should have been a joyous occasion. This woman came here expecting a safe, efficient birth. Instead, at the beginning of a precipitous labor, she was accosted by a clearly deranged physician she had never met before who proceeded to lodge her precious unborn child's head into her birth canal. Ah! Oh, the humanity. Given this woman's proportions and a prenatal ultrasound showing what was clearly a macrosomic infant, <laughs> this should have been an emergency C-section. In the face of such flagrant negligence, you leave me no choice, obi and Kenobi. In the name of the Emperor's malpractice court, I hereby revoke your license to practice medicine. I'll take that. Take him away. Wait. Luke, it's too late for me. I cannot teach you any longer. You must seek Dr. Yoda. He resides in the distant student lounge in the Duke's South system. He will teach you the ways of the Force. Seek Yoda! How could you do this? I guess I'll just take over where Dr. Kenobi left off. <laughs> <laughs> With that, it appears that Obi-Gain Kenobi is no longer qualified to advise you. You should come to the OR with me. Never. I'll never give up my beliefs to thorough history and physicals, motivational interviewing, and the force of empathy. Besides, you, you stole my mentor. No, Luke. Now I am your mentor. No! I've been called to a spiral fracture. You sure you don't want to come? No! Suit yourself. Grab them. Grab them all. Snap out of it, kid. You gotta get out of here now. We'll fend them off while you escape. Go find Yoda. But what about you guys? Just get out of here! Hi, do you know where the student lounge is? <laughs> um, hi, can you point me in the direction of the old abandoned student lounge? Seek the lounge, you do? <laughs> um, yeah, that's what I said. And what do the lounge need you, hmm? Well, I'm looking for someone. Look elsewhere you must. No one here there is. Well, you're here. So obviously there must be other people here too. Anyway, I'm looking for Dr. Yoda. Do you know where I can find him? Keep looking you must. Oh, forget it. You're no help. How does Obi-Gan Kenobi expect me to learn empathy if I can't even find the student lounge? Obi-Gan, you say? Well, yeah. Dr. Kenobi was my mentor. He sent me here because he said the empathetic force was strong with me. He said this Dr. Yoda would teach me to be a great clinician and help me to feed Dr. Vader. Say so first you should have. Yoda you have found. I don't understand. Yoda I am. The student lounge this way is. Follow me you must. 
I'm so confused. Come quickly, young medical student. My chair you bring. It feels like we've been here so long, I'm frozen in carbonite. I still can't believe that Dr. Vader just gave us to Dr. Jabba as free labor. I mean, that's what we were already, but still. God. Do you think we'll get lunch today? I wouldn't count on it. No, he's a real stickler for getting your work done in a timely manner. Plus, we're under a ball and chain and under the watch of this lab manager over here. Well, maybe if you hadn't let your mice die in the first place, we wouldn't be in this predicament. Oh, it's shut up, you big hungry oaf. Hey! Get back to work. What is all the commotion in here? I leave for one case in the OR and I come back to this? They were planning a rebellion, sir. I heard them talk about Dr. Vader. What? No! We were just hoping that we would get a lunch break today. Yeah! I like the story. I know you're in cahoots with that medical student and his plans to try and undermine the authority of surgeons. But who... you... Let me finish, you worthless medical student! 
Dr. Vader told me to keep a close eye on you, and that's exactly what I intend to do. But you've been feeding us nothing but water and Subway sandwiches for months. Yeah, I didn't even use the like research, but this is getting ridiculous. And what is with these outfits? I can't say this exactly meet OSHA safety standards. <laughs> Aren't we supposed to be wearing closed-toed shoes in lab? Can't say they're very visually pleasing hey. to sure either. Oh, I'm uh, sorry, your highness. Maybe if they let us go to the gym every once in a while. Pipe down! I've had enough of this. Get back to work. Not so fast, Dr. Jabba. Luke, you're here! You guys don't think I'd abandon you, did you? Plus, plus, I found one of Han's old friends, and she along, agreed to come along for the ride. Lando! Lando! Hey, dude. Sorry I didn't come out sooner. I've been on the DL, well, with the surgeons being all power crazed these days. But once Luke here came up with a plan, figured I had to help. By the way, what are you wearing? Enough! You actually don't think you're going to get away with this. That's where you're wrong, Dr. Jabba. We've got the upper hand here. You guys, over there, over here, slowly. Give me the keys. Even if you manage to escape, you'll never be able to undo what Dr. Vader has set in motion. You're just a puny medical student. I may be a medical student, but I learned the force of empathy from Dr. Yoda. And we're all super impressed, kid, but let's get out of here! My mice! Forget these idiots! Save my research! Fresh air. Oh. Feels so good to get out of that lab. I'm so hungry. Luke, I still don't get it. How did you find us? Like I said, I learned the empathetic force from Dr. Yoda. I went and sought him out just like Dr. Kenobi told me to. I learned so much. I have learned so much. I have trained with Yoda. I learned to her past, and I'll still take her song. I can listen to well, hear what patients tell. And I know three years from now my white coat will be long. Wow, Luke. I'm so proud of you. Yeah, me too. But we're still stuck on the rock. And Dr. Jabba's still after us. We're not stuck here. Luke found your Falcon, so we brought it. You saved our ride? Of course we did. We've had way too many good times on that old bird to leave her behind. Bro, remember that time we took her out to the woods and your cute intern met us out there? She was only wearing that. <clears throat> What's our next move? I've got a plan. I know where Dr. Beater is. Chewie, the plan. I'm trying. Dr. Beater is holed up in the Half's Surgical Star Fortress, and he's ready to take down Epic. I know we can beat him, but we're going to need some help. I've already got most of the medicine service on our side. So what more do we need? We need... The PD walks. The pediatricians? Aren't they in forest somewhere? Yeah, they're off in the Duke Forest of Endor at Camp K. I've always wanted to go. Well, that's where we're going. I suck at talking to kids. Hey, over here! I think they went that way! Let's get out of here. There's no time to waste. The ship is that way. Are you sure you know where you're going? This place looks deserted. I thought Camp K was supposed to be filled with happy kids everywhere. Maybe they're hiding. I know they're here somewhere. Sure, just one big game of hide and seek. You know, it would be just our luck. We came all the way out here to the middle of nowhere and Luke took us to the wrong place. Hey. Calm down, now that I have my pants on, don't get your panties in a bunch. 
Did you hear that? No. Oh, no I did. <laughs> Nothing gets past you, does it? What do you guys do that for? How did you not hear that? Because uh, the how did you not oh hear that? Guys? Are you, you guys? guys? Guys! Why are they pointing weapons at us? Aren't they supposed to be nice? Well, we are on their territory and we didn't exactly tell them we were coming. Uh, somebody should do something. Uh, we come in peace. Oh, jeez. Han, shut up! We're here because we need your help. There's a dastardly plot to destroy Epic, and we're trying to stop it. Dr. Vader is trying to get the surgeons to forever rule the galaxy. Well, this isn't going at all how I planned. Really? We couldn't tell. <laughs> what do we do now? Do you think they'll just let us leave? We can't leave without their help. How else are we going to defeat Dr. Vader? Uh, well, like I was telling him, her, we need your help to save Epic. Save Epic from what, exactly? Well, the surgeons are trying to delete all the detailed clinical notes. Without the notes, they hope to forever rule the galaxy. Dr. Vader is going Dr. to- Dr. Vader? Why didn't you say so sooner? We would do anything to help defeat Dr. Vader. How can we be of assistance? Chewie, you stole my diagram? I've got it in the ship. Oh no, it just spread here. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. Maybe if you hit a cookie in it. God. I wanted a cookie. All right, everyone, we've reached the outer defenses of the half surgical star fortress. We need to get to the core to find Dr. Vader, though. I can sense with the empathetic force that time is running out. I sense this also. <laughs> Luke, we leaders from the medical school have been able to help you get this far. But now, you alone must defeat Dr. Vader in order to restore balance in the universe. Wait. Luke has to face Dr. Vader alone? This is true. Only someone so young, so pure of heart, can successfully best Dr. Vader. Um, wait a minute. Where's Dr. Goodman? Oh, I think he's on vacation. Oh, that's right. It is vacation time. <laughs> Sorry, guys. See you later. Never mind. We'll use our forces to delay the oncoming surgical interns, but Luke, you must be quick. I have no doubt it'll be quick. Luke was quickly gonna lose. <laughs> oh, stop it, Han. He's gotten us this far, hasn't he? And he will get you the rest of the way, too. <laughs> quick! The chorus will live! We'll give you as much time as we can. All, All to glory! <laughs> There you are, Dr. Vader. I'm an impressed young medical student. I dare say I did not think you would ever get this far. We're here to stop you, Dr. Vader. We won't let you destroy Epic. You're far too late. Once the Death Star upload is complete, Epic will be destroyed and surgeons will forever hold control over the galaxy. Not if I can help it. No, you guys. You heard what the Advisory Dean Council said. I alone must defeat Dr. Vader. 
I can do this. Not now, Luke! Oh, right. Let's see what you've got, Dr. Vader. With pleasure, boy. Use the force, Luke. Empathize. Why do you want to destroy Epic? Oh, how do you think life would be better by doing so? What might motivate you to change? Stop asking me open-ended questions! Dr. Vader, how do you feel? No! Leia, quick, disarm the Death Star. Finish him, kid! You've got the upper hand! No. Using the empathetic force isn't just about asking empathetic questions. It's about feeling true empathy. And I empathize with Dr. Vader. Wait, what? Did you see what he was about to do to you? Even I agree, Luke. He's a monster. No, no, no. I know the truth behind Dr. Vader's actions. When I was in my training with Yoda, I stumbled across an ancient note in a program called eBrowser. <laughs> this note was written by Dr. Vader when he was a medical student. Whoa, seriously? I found out that when Dr. Vader was on his medicine rotation, he lost a patient he had become quite fond of. The note demonstrated such pain and suffering that it became clear to me Dr. Vader chose to shut off his empathy completely and become a surgeon. <laughs> this way, he would never again feel this pain and suffering because he would never again know his patients very well. I, I don't know what to say. Dr. Vader, how do you feel? <laughs> I am so sorry. <laughs> How could I have ever done such a thing? <laughs> Please forgive me. Of course we forgive you, Dr. Vader. Come on, let's go talk about it. You can tell us your story. was a turn of events. No kidding. Who saw that coming? Welcome everyone to this joyous occasion. We gather here today to celebrate the amazing accomplishment of these fine students. As you all are aware, the galaxy has been in a state of unrest for quite some time. But thanks to these students, balance has once again been restored and Grand Dean Andrews and I are grateful. Yes, Dr. White. We would like to aware, award these students medals of honor. These medals represent the bravery and persistence they have shown in their pursuit to save EPIC and clinical medicine as we know it. Students, please step forward to receive your awards. <laughs>
we did it. Yeah. It was actually pretty nice to get out of the lab and do something other than MSTP stuff. It won't be that bad when we have to go back for fourth year. I just wish Dr. Kenobi was here to see us succeed, though. Didn't they tell you? He's been reinstated. They realized that the whole thing was a setup, and he'll be back for practice course next week. No way. Yep, you can fill him in on everything that you've learned. I can't wait. Hey, Leia. Hey. Can I talk to you over here for a second? <laughs> so, what's up? Oh, oh man. Uh, nothing much. Um, I was just thinking, uh, and you can totally say no at any point. Um, I maybe thought someday or sometime you would maybe want to do something or... I would love to go on a date with you. Cool. Hey guys, <laughs> isn't this metal thing great? I'm so glad I came to do. It's the best. Calm down, kid. It's just a med school. How can you say that? Duke is more than just a med school. It's where I learned to take care of patients, to be part of a team. Yeah, but... Wow, it disturbs me to hear this dear home talking this way about Duke. Now, after all we've accomplished... Go on. No, I can't. You do it, Luke. Okay. I think what Leia wants you to understand is what sets Duke Med School apart. It's not just the buildings and laboratories, it's something that comes from the heart. Nowhere's fun like Duke Med, nowhere's run like Duke Med, nowhere gets you to clinic as soon as Duke Med. Yes, there's nowhere you run. My family? Oh, and I <laughs> was that you are here. You were a hell of a guy. You got through MMI. So did everyone here. Tons a real modest guy. Fine, you're right. This med school is invigorating. That's how I love all too bad. Give five, we're on. Give twelve, hit hit. Med is the best and the rest are all Shhh! <laughs> Nowhere's top like Duke Med Gives you chops like Duke Med I guess the only home that I've known is Duke Med But there's nowhere I'd rather be learning Yes, you're right, I have been happy here I can see your opinion is turning Plus, I will graduate in one more year. We have fun at Duke Med, take your runs at Duke Med. Camp out for b-ball tickets, each ball at Duke Med. It's more fun when the team has a winning season. Three points for Duke Med. Through our undergrad, we took bio in camp. Got stuck in the lab, had no fun. But now I am here, I can stream every class. So I'm studying out in the sun. School. 